Hello there, and welcome back to Circuit Breaker, where we're going to be doing Stage 2 at the Nürburgring, which means we have to press the brake pedal this time. This stage is called the Nürburgring EV Lap Record. Ah, so you survived your astronaut training, I see. Welcome to Nürburgring, then. Let's get you reacquainted with the course here before we make our record attempt. We are going to calibrate the battery to the track, and also do some pass-throughs so we know the crew filming from the sky will be able to keep up with you when we go live later on today. Follow behind me, and I'll take you through the course and give you a run-through of what to expect. See behind me, but please be careful with these vehicles, don't damage the merchandise. Now, as you can see, I am applying upgrades. You won't actually need any upgrades for this stage either, but I am applying these for tomorrow. I'm only doing the R dollar upgrade so far. I don't really care about R dollars because I have quite a lot. So yeah, just uh, splashing my money out on them. Now we need to place in second and tailgate first place with 100 yards for 75 seconds without overtaking or damaging. Now this took me almost 20 minutes to do. And here is a time lapse of my failed attempts. Once I get to my uh, actual good attempt, I will tell you how I actually did complete it. So, when you go in, make sure that you're steering a little bit to the right, otherwise the game's gonna go send you off into the grass. Now, one thing about this car is that when you're in slower corners, the handling is awful. Uh, so make sure that you keep traction through there and catch up with Eric as fast as possible. Once you're right up behind Eric, make sure to try and keep in slipstream as much as possible. He is faster than you. And if you're keeping in that slipstream, that means that it's going to be easier for you to keep up with him. When it comes to this hairpin, make sure that you get slow entry and fast exit. Bump into the back of him if you need to. Just make sure that you get a good exit out of the corner. Same with this chicane coming up. Normally you can go full throttle through her, but Eric won't. So you'll need to slow down a little bit. But make sure you slow down in the first part of it, so you get a great exit out of it, so that you can hook onto Eric for as long as possible. Eric will break way too much for this corner, so be aware of that and just work with him. Make sure not to mess it up in the last few seconds, and there you go, goal complete. The IDR is as fast as they come, but it all comes at a cost. Battery life. Let's calibrate battery systems by checking the readings at high and low speeds. Finish your first lap behind me, and then your second in first, with an average speed of 126 miles an hour. So we need to complete the first lap in second place and then re-overtake Eric for the second lap and just try and go around the circuit as fast as possible so we need to find a suitable place to let Eric past I'm choosing to do so in this chicane but I don't go slow enough so I'm going to take the outside line of this so I do lose too much speed I lose, I lose, I lose time going around it I don't lose speed, and that's a good way to keep your average speed up. Again, be careful, the car is prone to stepping out in low speed corners, flat through that corner, braking for this corner. And there we go. For the next corner, it's flat, but then you have to brake for the corner afterwards. As you can see, I'm taking the outside line there, 
to uh, get a little bit more speed in. As you can see, I'm still not sure about the car. I was feathering the throttle on the exit because I didn't know how much I could actually put down. One thing that I do recommend you do is if you can't take these corners right, seriously, just tilt your device further. You'll be surprised with how much it still grips. There is a point where it does start sliding out, but the amount that you can tilt your device without it actually uh, coming out is really good. I'm just checking the average speed requirement because before this finish line, I'm going to be slowing down. This will make the bots easier for the future stages. One final test now for the film crew. Let's see if the helicopter can keep up with us when we're heading at top speed of 165 miles an hour twice along the track. I'll follow behind and block out while I'll be filming. If I overtake you, that means you're off frame. So we need to hit a top speed of 165 miles an hour twice without going off track. Now this is a very easy goal. Make sure you go flat out through these corners here and that gives you a good run on the straight to get you to 165 miles an hour. This is very close to the car's top speed of 167 miles an hour, but trust me, we will be breaking that by a lot at Spa later on. So yeah, just go around the track as fast as possible, like you were doing earlier. Make sure that you are very careful on the slower corners, going slower than you want to, uh, especially as you don't need to go fast through there for this, you only need to go fast uh, from the hairpin, um, that's the last braking zone before you need to hit speed, just don't be afraid to push the limits of the car. Now, from here, we are not braking until the last chicane, and we're going to get a pretty insane speed. It's just going to keep on climbing. We're going 150, and we're about, we're doing 155 through this bit. 160, 161, 5, 6, 166. That's one mile an hour off of the top speed of the car. And that's only the beginning of the story with this car. The handling is just so good that you can get to top speed and beyond in so many places. We've already got both of the top speeds and we've still got another lap to go. So yeah, just Keep on going. Again, to make the bots easier later on, we're going to be reeling Eric in so that we don't finish too far ahead of him. This time, he we can get him right back up on our tail using the rear view mirror. And there he is. That was quite risky, not gonna lie.
This is where I leave you. It's time for you to make your attempt at the world record. The current world record is 1 minute 34. That is your time to beat. Good luck out there. I don't have to go off track at all. So then, completing a lap in under 1 minute 34 seconds without going off track. Uh, which is actually a very easy task. However, if you are having trouble with this, there is something that you can do. Once the race starts, go backwards round the track. Because the timer doesn't actually start until you cross the start line. So if you go back, then you can get a load of momentum off the start line instead of just zero miles an hour. I would recommend actually physically turning the car around and then going backwards around the track instead of just reversing. Even though the car goes as fast backwards as it goes forwards, there is literally pretty much no traction when you're going backwards, so I would just recommend going backwards. Using this method, you can chop multiple seconds off of your time and you will see at the end of this lap that I will have a substantial amount of time remaining. Once you've done this, you don't really need to push the car that much. Just try not to go off track at all because 0.5 seconds is a lot less than you may think. Now that is actually not off track. The timer did not tick at all. Use the fact that that is not off track to your advantage if you need to at any point whenever you're on the Nürburgring because it is really helpful. Look at that, going around the last corner with 15 seconds left. But, as always, you got to pass the stage with the minimal amount of thing left as possible. Uh, in this case, time. So, just wait until I've got about a second left before actually crossing the line. There we go, stage 2 is complete. And here are the rewards, 500 VP, 10 gold, and 15,000 R dollars. We did it! You smashed the previous record! That's the current fastest electric vehicle lap record for this track. Plus one to the electric car, and plus one to you for those amazing driving skills. Ah, oh, that noise is infuriating! Has my record really been defeated by the likes of you, an obnoxious activist in that dentist drill on wheels? Hmm, that's right. Magnus holds the record on Nürburgring for the good old combustion engine. I think we made him mad. Let's see how you fare against a real car and a real driver. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this helpful or entertaining, please do hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this and about other things, then please do subscribe. Thank you guys. Goodbye.